the Gordon Setter is a large breed of dog, a member of the Setter family that also includes both the better known Irish Setter and the English Setter. Setter breeds are classified as members of either the sporting or gun dog group depending on the National Kennel Club or Council. The original purpose of the breed was to hunt game birds. Their quarry may be partridge, grouse, pheasant, ptarmigan, black game, snipe or woodcock, quail, willow grouse, sand grouse, guinea fowl, sage hen, francolin and any other bird that will sit to a dog a euro that is to say, will attempt to avoid a potential predator by concealment rather than by taking to the wing at the first sign of danger. It is this combination of a bird that will sit fast in front of a dog that will remain on point that makes bird dog work possible. Description equals Appearance equals, Gordon Setters, also known as black and tans, have a coal black coat with distinctive markings of a rich chestnut or mahogany color on their paws and lower legs, vents, throat, and muzzles. One spot above each eye. And two spots on their chest. A small amount of white is allowed on the chest. Although uncommon, red Gordons are occasionally born to normal colored parents, the result of expression of a recessive red gene. Predominantly tan, red, or buff dogs are ineligible for showing. A Gordon's coat is straight or slightly waved, long and silky, with chest, stomach, ear, leg, and tail feathering. According to the AKC breed standard, the bearing is intelligent, noble, and dignified. They are the heaviest of the setter breeds, with males reaching 27 inches at the withers and up to 80 pounds in weight. Equals temperament equals, the AKC describes the Gordon setter temperament as alert, interested, and confident. He is fearless and willing, intelligent, and capable. He is loyal and affectionate, and strong-minded enough to stand the rigors of training. Gordons are intensely loyal to their owners. Thrive in an attentive, loving environment. And are good family dogs. Puppies and adult dogs can be quite boisterous, and although they are patient by nature, may not be suitable for households with very young children. Gordons are sensitive and empathic, eager to learn, and need firm but gentle handling. Early socialization and obedience training is important. They are known as great talkers. The breed is one of the slowest to mature, not hitting prime until three years of age or more, and will show puppy-like characteristics well into their older years. Gordons were bred to run, and require 60 to 80 minutes of vigorous exercise daily. Young dogs should not be over-exercised or begin agility training until they are at least 18 months old. To avoid joint problems later in life. Because of their hunting instincts, Gordons should not be allowed to roam freely if unsupervised, as they are apt to wander into a potentially dangerous traffic situation while following a scent. Health. Although not as prone to hip dysplasia as many of the larger breeds, Gordons can suffer from the condition. Other health issues can include hypothyroidism, gastric torsion and eye diseases such as progressive retinal atrophy, and cataracts. Life expectancy for the breed is generally about 10 to 12 years. At the beginning of 2009, a report was issued to all of the breed clubs in the UK concerning cases of late onset PRA in Gordon Setters. On March 14, 2011, Animal Health Trust made a DNA test available. The mutation is termed RCD4 to distinguish it from other, previously described forms of rod cone degeneration. It is recessive, and 19 out of the 21 Gordons in their study who had clinical signs of PRA were homozygous for this mutation, indicating it is the major cause of PRA in the breed. As many as 50% of Gordon setters may be carriers. History equals Origins equals Domesticated dogs finding their game by scent, but not killing it, being chiefly used in aid of the gun the dog in health and ICSEA Euro Longmans. Green and Colorado, 1859. This is the title of the chapter covering pointers and setters in Stonehenge's work on dogs published around 150 years ago. The term gun dogs would pretty well cover all the dogs described in the chapter. Many of the gun dogs described by Stonehenge are no longer to be found in the United Kingdom or have been absorbed into one of the other breeds. The Russian setter, the Welsh setter, Northern Irish Water Spaniel, Southern Irish Water Spaniel and English Water Spaniel, 
the Spanish pointer and the Portuguese pointer have all disappeared in the past 150 years, and the pictures of some of the breeds that are still with us show considerable differences to the breed as we see them today. Edward Laverick wrote in the Setter, published in 1872, the Setter is but an improved Spaniel. While the Reverend Pierce and the Dog, published in the same year, said, he is a direct descendant of the Spaniel, a setting Spaniel was the first Setter. Since then this is the generally agreed with conclusion that the Setter was primarily derived from the old land Spaniel, so called so as to distinguish it from the water Spaniel. It is however likely that outside crosses with hounds or pointers did influence its development. William Taplin in the Sportsman's Cabinet maintained that it was originally produced by a commixture between the Spanish pointer and the larger breed of the English Spaniel. We now really need not to go back to the Spaniel and its specialized development into the setting dog, as it was called, and can be found in the work by the famous French sportsman, Gaston de Foix, Vicomte de Bar copyright on, who it is said owned about 1500 dogs brought from all countries of Europe and was known as Gaston Fairbus owing to his love for the chase. This work is called Livre de Chasse ou Miroir de Fairbus, and was started in 1387. This work was the basis of the Master of Game written between 1406 and 1413 by Edward III's grandson, Edward, second Duke of York, who acknowledged his debt to de Foix. Below is the main passage referring to the Spaniel and the Setting Dog, as republished in 1904. A Euro Bailey Groman, pages 66. The modern Gordon Setter is a predominantly black dog with rich tan marking on the muzzle, legs and chest. A little bigger and heavier than either the Irish or English, he is nevertheless descended from the same genetic mixing pot, which undoubtedly has its origins among those setting spaniels we met earlier. The Kennel Club applied the name Gordon Setter to the breed in 1924. Before that they were known as Black and Tan Setters, and were found in many kennels beside those of the Alexander Gordon, 4th Duke of Gordon. Indeed, as we shall see, there is plenty of evidence that the majority of the settlers at Gordon Castle during the Duke's time were tricolored rather than pure black and tan. The breed was brought to the United States by George Blunt and Daniel Webster in 1842, with the purchase of two dogs named Rake and Rachel from the Duke's kennels. The American Kennel Club officially recognized the breed in 1892. Equals breed development equals. The Gordon Setter is a gun dog in the United Kingdom. Among the many changes which took place in sport and country affairs during the last century were those concerned with the method of shooting and consequent role of the gun dog. These changes were accelerated after the Second World War, prior to which there were many dogging moors in the north of the UK, especially in Scotland. Walking up game became largely superseded by driving and field craft by marksmanship. The function of the gun dog was as a result limited to the recovery of dead or wounded birds and a euro in the age of specialization a euro this meant that the Labrador retriever came to the forefront while the number of working pointers and setters declined year after year. Besides the modernization of the style of shooting and the work required of gun dogs, the situation was altered by the new developments that also took place in farming, which helped to bring about a marked reduction in the partridge population. This came about with the introduction of modernization such as early cutting of silage, the use of fast-moving mechanical equipment, the burning or plowing of stubble fields soon after harvest, the destruction of hedgerows and the use of chemical sprays for weed killing. The hedgerows have provided shelter and nesting sites. The weeds and other herbage supplied food and cover. Whilst the stubble fields had been a primary source of winter food, so the partridges were deprived of some important assets, whilst the wide use of chemicals on the land exercised a direct harmful effect. It will be obvious to the reader that these changes significantly affected the status of setters and pointers, not least that of the Gordon. Though often used as a general purpose gun dog, the Gordon setter is essentially a wide ranging dog employed in the UK to locate red grouse and ptarmigan in the Scottish or north of England moors and partridges on the stubble fields of the south of England. Up to the late 1930s, most Gordons were kept for this type of work, so that the majority were to be found in Scotland and the north of England. But now they are more evenly distributed and there are no large working kennels. The function of the setter is well summarized by Captain Blaine as follows. A euro the work required of the setter and pointer differs from that of all other breeds of dog. 
it is their business to range and hunt independently for game, at a distance from the sportsman, using their own initiative and intelligence to find it, and having done so, to remain staunchly a euro or eon point a euro awaiting his approach. They must search for the body, and not for the foot scent, and be able to maintain a fast steady gallop for long periods without fatigue. For the purpose a dog should have independence of character, speed, endurance, and a sensitive nose, combined with natural ability for hunting the terrain, in the best method of finding Gamia Euro unregistered trademark. Only one Gordon Setter has achieved the title of dual champion since the Second World War. This was a bitch whose registered name was Am Scotty Resister Bell. Her pet name was Triska. The Kennel Club regulations state this title can only be claimed by dogs who have achieved the title of show champion and field trial champion. Perhaps one of the best descriptions of the setter at work in the field is a poem by the poet William Somerville in the following lines. The Gordon Castle and other historically important kennels, Alexander, the fourth Duke of Gordon, established his kennel of black and tan setters at Gordon Castle, which was situated near Four Shabers, not far from the River Spey and a few miles from the coast of Murray. The exact date when this occurred is not known. A Colonel Thornton visited the place during his tour of the Highlands in 1786. He makes no mention of any kennel of setters at that time, although he does note that a Euro the Duke of Gordon still keeps up a diversion of falcon a Euro I saw, also, here a true Highland Greyhound, which has now become very scarce a Euro a Euro unregistered trademark. The Duke was indeed devoted to country pursuits and was among the last of his day in Scotland to keep hawks and practice falconry. He was celebrated for his Scottish deerhounds as well as his setters. However, all that can be inferred from the Colonella Euro unregistered trademark S remarks is that there are unlikely to have been any setters of note at the castle in 1786. There is much on record that seems reliable about the origin or derivation of the Duke of Gordona Euro unregistered trademark S setters, though verification at this late date is, of course, impossible. Most of this evidence comes from Samuel Brown the veterinary surgeon of Melton Mowbray, who was a great authority on the breed. In a letter to a Euro a Euro unregistered trademark the field a Euro unregistered trademark a Euro unregistered trademark of November 12, 1864 Samuel Brown stated, a Euro an old gentleman sportsman, and one too who has shot over the same breed for fifty years and knew them during his boyhood, assures me that the late Duke of Gordon, Marquis of Anglesey, and several other noblemen, had their original stock of setters from the late Mr. Coke of Longford, and that the colour was usually black, white and tan. Mine are descended from the original breed of Mr. Coke, the Gordon a Euro a Euro unregistered trademark regent a Euro unregistered trademark a Euro unregistered trademark and a Euro a Euro unregistered trademark farm a Euro unregistered trademark a Euro unregistered trademark and within the last five years from a black white and a euro tan bitch which I got direct from the BDSART Canella Euro unregistered trademark. Five years late, in another letter to the same journal, the Reverend F. W. Adai wrote, a euro Mr. Brown was told by Mr. Coke himself that he often sent dogs to the Duke of Gordon and received others in exchange, in order now and then to obtain fresh blood a euro unregistered trademark. These facts were well known to J. H. Walsh, Editor of a Euro a Euro unregistered trademark the field a Euro unregistered trademark a Euro unregistered trademark and a leading authority on sporting dogs, for it is he who mentions in the first chapter of his book a Euro a Euro unregistered trademark the dogs of the British Islands a Euro unregistered trademark a Euro unregistered trademark a setter a Euro from Mr. Coke of Norfolk and doubtless related to the late Duke of Gordon a Euro unregistered trademark S. Kennel as Mr. Coke and the Duke bred together and interchanged setters frequently a Euro unregistered trademark. Therefore it does appear to be reasonably established that Mr. Coke provided most of the original setters for the Duke Euro unregistered trademark S. Kennel. The Reverend Hutchinson, who wrote under the pseudonym a Euro 60 o near Euro unregistered trademark, insisted that a euro the original setter taken or sent to Gordon Castle by the first Marquis of Angles a euro unregistered trademark, however what has been seen is that, according to Samuel Brown a euro unregistered trademark S.A. euro old gentleman sportsman a euro unregistered trademark, 
The Marquis of Anglesey likewise had his original stock of settlers at Bidessart from Mr. Coke a Euro probably, although this cannot be confirmed, some years before the Gordon Castle Kennel was founded. For in 1869 the Bidessart setters were said to have been maintained a Euro for sixty years pure and unmixed with any blood a Euro unregistered trademark. It is most unlikely that the Duke obtained his setters from only one source. We know that he interbreed with other kennels besides Mr. Cokey Euro unregistered trademark S, notably with Lord Lovett a Euro unregistered trademark S. Gordon Setters Exercising. References. Bale Lee Groman, William May and F., The Masters of Game, Edward, Second Duke of York, The Oldest English Book on Hunting, Limited Edition with Four Plates, London 1904. Popular Edition, London, 1909. PP 302, Illus. Cumliffe, Juliet. The Encyclopedia of Dog Breeds. Paragon Publishing. ISBN 0 7525 3 Fogel, Bruce, DVM. The New Encyclopedia of the Dog. Doring Kindersley. ISBN 0 7894 6130 7. Smith. A. Croxton, Hounds and Dogs. Their Care, Training and Working, Lundoyan, and DPP 320, Illus. Stonehenge, The Dog and Health and Disease. Longmans, Green, and Co., London, 1887. Thornton, Thomas, Colonel A. Sporting Tour Through the Northern Parts of England and Grest Part of the Highlands of Scotland, London, 1804. Animal Health Trust. February 2011. Further reading, Argue, Derry. Pointer and Setters. Swanhill Press, 1993. ISBN 1-85310-239-3. Hudson, David. Working Pointers and Setters. Swanhill Press, 2004. ISBN 1-904057-40-3. Jean Sanger Look and Anita Lustenberger. The Complete Gordon Setter. Howell Bookhouse, 1984. ISBN 0-87605-158-1. Schwepp, Frederick. Gordon Setters. TFH Publications, Inc., 1990. ISBN 0-86622-690-7. Sorby, Suzanne and Sorby, Norman. The Field Gordon Setter, The Black and Tan Bombshell. Xlip Publishing, 2005. ISBN 978-1-41349-180-7. External links, Gordon Setter at DMOZ.